Welcome to Excel 2013 Statistical Analysis video number seven. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is exactly where we left off last video, and I want to actually talk about subtle chart junk. So I'm going to arrange these so they're easier to see. Now I want to look at some subtle potential chart junk in these charts here. Remember, our guiding rule when we looked at charts in week one was no chart junk. You know, here if you look, there's a bunch of zeros there. Now these percentages come from the default settings when we created the chart. These percentages down here actually came from our cells up here. But check this out, those zeros, we don't need those. So I'm going to click on the axis, Control-1 to open up the task pane. It's on the axis options, those columns. Down here, there's numbers way down at the bottom. And I want to say decimal places, 0, and tab. So that eliminates a little bit of chart junk there. Now, these were created when we created the chart. And they're not looking at the exact cells. But look at this. When we added these labels here, these are data labels, it automatically by default showed zero decimals. Well, what if we actually wanted the decimals? Those were important. So now we can click on the labels, Control-1. It already opens up the right task pane. I'm going to come down to Number. I'm going to click the drop down, point to Percentage, 2, and there we go. Now when I click outside, you know I see a little bit of overlap there. Maybe I want to click on the labels once, click on it a second time, and drag this one just a little bit to the side. Hey, wait a second. Look, we have a lone leader line there that doesn't match up. None of the other ones have leader lines. So I need to get rid of that. I'm going to click on the labels, go over to the task pane, and uncheck show leader lines. Now if I click outside, I can see, boom, that's looking much better. Now there's one last thing on every one of the charts. It looks like the title, since it's linked to the cell, there's a capitalization error. So I'm actually going to go up to cell A1 and edit this. All right, so that's much better. We changed the F and the S when I hit Enter. All of the chart titles update perfectly. So that's a little bit about subtle chart junk. We had zeros that we didn't need. We had decimals decreased, and we wanted to increase them, and we changed the capitalization. Little things like that matter. Remember, charts are visually articulating quantitative data. The idea is to get a quick visual impression. And if you have little elements in the charts, like some extra decimals or some capitalization, yeah, it's subtle. It doesn't matter that much. But little things like that do improve the overall effectiveness of your charts. All right, uh, next video, we'll start talking about quantitative variables. All right, see you next video.